to know the motor channel. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. After three years in the wilderness, the Kawasaki KLX250 returns to the fold. While it was gone, it acquired an important update, fuel injection to replace the KN carburetor. Here are the essential fast facts you need to know about the 2018 Kawasaki KLX250. EFI is the big news on the returning 2018 Kawasaki KLX250. The DOHC motor gets a 10 nozzle injector to better feed the over-square combustion chamber. This should help the motor work better on an off-road in the mountains, where the altitude can change by thousands of feet during the ride. Emissions have been reduced to satisfy the government tailpipe sniffers. The new KLX 250's 50 state legal, and features a catalyzer to clean up the exhaust. The chassis returns from the earlier KLX 250S, note that the S is gone from the name or 2018. The fork has compression damping and spring preload adjustments, and it's an inverted 43mm design with cartridge internals. The new shock is fully adjustable, and linkage assisted. The frame is the same perimeter design. Ultimate Motorcycling last reviewed the KLX 250S in 2014 and noted its lack of EFI, we're glad to see that rectified. There is also a Camo version. If lime green isn't to your liking, the 2018 Kawasaki KLX 250 is available with Matrix Camo Gray Metallic Matte Carbon Gray Graphic for an additional $200. The base KLX 250 run $5,349 which puts it within $200 of the Honda CRF250L and Yamaha XT250.